And a good Thursday to you. I'm meteorologist Cindy Fitzgibbon. You know, we should be in the low 50s for highs this time of year. Look at the temperatures this morning. We are running in the teens and 20s. In fact, 20s all the way down through St. Louis and into Arkansas where they have had some snow this morning. So incredibly cold air for this time of year interacting with the storm system and there is a lot of wintry weather across the country. Winter storm uh, warnings up in the pink of the winter weather advisories in the blue and those extend into southern New England. Now winter weather advisory going into effect at seven o'clock this evening right through seven o'clock tomorrow morning. The worst of the wintry weather for us coming in after dark and it's going to be with us into the overnight hours, but then we're going to see a change from snow over to rain. So along the coastline that change is going to happen first. It's only going to be an inch or two of snow at the coast before we flip on over to rain. But the deeper you get inland 128 back to 495 looks like a good two to four inches of snow with some sleet and then rain on top of that. Well, hanging on to the snow the longest here north and west of the Worcester area where we could see about four to up to about seven inches of snow. Most of those higher totals in this highest elevations up through the northern Worcester Hills and toward the Monadnock region as well. Looking at primarily rain on Cape Cod. So here's how the day goes. Most of it is dry. In fact, maybe a little bit of filtered sunshine through a lot of high cloudiness out there through about noontime, and then the clouds really thick in this afternoon. Temperatures, though, stuck in the 30s with a light easterly wind. Notice it's going to be about 8 o'clock tonight before we have that snow breaking out right in Boston. So here's the timeline of the snow filling up from the south and west here. Looks like a nasty evening commute around the Hartford area getting into Providence. And from 5 to 8 p.m., look what happens. Snow just envelops the area, and it is going to come in hard. And it's going to come in quickly and I think it's going to coat the ground too and make for some slippery driving here. Also notice we're starting out with primarily rain on Cape Cod. The snow is going to last the longest for most of the area between about 8 o'clock tonight and about midnight or so. Thereafter, we're going to watch this rain snow line begin to propagate here toward the north and west. And during the overnight hours, there will be that changeover from snow to sleet and rain. Look at this by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's rain for most of us, although that pink indicating a little bit of sleet still possible with some icing out that way. So overnight snow changing to sleet and rain. It is going to be windy. The winds are going to pick up out of the east and that's going to cause the temperatures to rise. Take a look. These are the temperatures at midnight. We're near just over the freezing mark most places except the Cape and by about five six o'clock tomorrow morning. Look at the 40s. In fact, we're running either side of 40 in most areas just colder back through the Worcester Hills. So again, this is turning to rain for most of us by tomorrow morning, but the winds are coming up. Look at these gusts close to 50 miles per hour tomorrow morning on the Cape. There is going to be a wind advisory on the Cape and the islands for those stronger gusts between one o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock tomorrow morning as well. This is all associated with our storm. It's on top of us in the morning and then it kicks out pretty rapidly in the afternoon. So we will see improvements after lunchtime tomorrow. See the morning commute going to feature mostly those wet road conditions. Could be a little bit of icing still back toward the uh, northern part of Worcester County and perhaps a final little burst of snow as the storm starts to pull away through mid morning and then by noontime this is all all wrapping up and the skies stay mostly cloudy into the afternoon and we should clear things out Friday evening, making way for what looks to be a pretty decent weekend. Saturday is the milder day, upper 40s. It's going to feel pretty nice. Colder on Sunday and Sunday night into early Monday, there could be some snow showers or a little bit of a light snow breaking out. It doesn't look like a big storm, but the cold continues right on into next week.